Meanwhile, as expected, Ohio State is passing the bound. Buckeyes, who finished sixth in the final playoff rankings, going back to the Rose Bowl to face Pac-12 champion Utah. It'll be the 16th time Ohio State has played in the granddaddy of them all. Just the second ever meeting between the two schools, however. Ohio State beating the Utes 64-6 back in 1986. Motivation, always a question for non-playoff bowl games on paper. Would seem Utah's more incentive to win it to the Buckeyes, something Ryan Day will rely on his leaders to ensure won't happen. Well, I think it goes back to the to the leaders of uh, the units, to the position coaches, to everybody involved with it, to understand that you know you play in a Rose Bowl. I mean, it, it matters, and it's a it's a very very important game, and you know we we take a lot of pride in who we are, and that's that's really what it comes down to. And so, again, when when your leaders are, are leading the way that way, and and they understand how important this is, and then for the young guys, you know, this is an opportunity to catapult them into next year, and uh, and so I, I think you know. Everyone's hurting from the last game. This is an opportunity to kind of change that feeling a little bit. Well, I mean, I don't need any more motivation, but certainly um, disappointing not to see, you know, ourselves in the top four like that. You know, that's that's our goal as we head into every year. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's been a tough week for us. But, you know, you can only feel sorry for yourself for so long. you got to move on. you got to uh, get back to work, and that's what we're going to do.